Hey, welcome to another week here at the Turtle Inn. I'm doing some light work this week because I still feel a little bit fatigued um, from being si uh, sick so long and the work that I kind of chose this week is uh, to start gluing together all the PVC drainage pipes and so I started in the um, attic and I'm just going down because that way I can make sure it's all um, following the right levels and um, going all downhill. So the week that the kids were sick, so two weeks ago, Thomas was here with me. First, he actually finished the electrical here in the attic. Um, we don't have um, lights everywhere yet because that's gonna be finished when we do the drywall, but at least some of the can lights have power now, all the receptacles have power, so that's really nice. And then uh, Thomas's brothers helped me take a couple loads to the landfill, so we get some of that stuff that the messes that we made here in the last few weeks, we got that all cleaned up. So that was a nice help. And um, yeah, we just got a lot of stuff done.
So I'm glad I can be back here at the house after a couple weeks of resting with the kids first that full week and then last week I was completely out. Um, we really don't know what we had. We, we were really just down, a lot of fever and so it felt like a flu but it was just keeping us in bed the whole time and we are still a little exhausted. So we are getting energy back. Hopefully by next week I'll have a little bit more energy and I can do a little bit more work on the, um, uh, um, after finishing the water, uh, do a little bit more strenuous work again. I really want to get started on the outside, but on the outside I just have to be, um, have the full energy because it's hot and then also um, it's a lot of manual labor with taking down the old siding and uh, finishing that, getting things ready for the windows. So with that said, I really have to have energy for that. So I hope in the next couple of weeks I get that energy back and then we start digging and do the siding on the outside.
So what projects do we still have uh, to do inside before we go to the outside and get the windows ready and the, um, the siding and some of the drainage area on the outside where we have water um, issues in the basement. We have to obviously fix some of those things. Um, before we can do that, what I really want to do is I want to finish the CAT 6. There's a few more runs that we have to do, so it's probably going to be another week. Um, we have to run some in the, into the basement to be ready for the future. And then we have to run um, some lines down to an entry point where the internet in, is going to go into the house. So we have to do that. And then there's a few little spots here and there, obviously with the, with the drainage water pipes uh, finishing gluing them together and then there is a few more spots where I have run any um, water pipes in the kitchen area especially to the to the sink there that stuff has to be still finished and um, we then also have to run a few more cables like the range cable we have not run in the kitchen and there's a few extra spots that we just have to real, still run some cables but overall we are making great progress on the inside with the hardware side of things, with just getting all the mechanical, with the drainage, with the standard water, and um, and then the um, the electrical all finished. So as soon as that is done, um, I really want to work on the outside. Well, I think this is it for this week. It is very hot. It is over 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or 32 Celsius in. Uh, outside and it's probably another 10-15 degrees warmer in here with no insulation so I'm exhausted we glued the majority of the pipes together in the attic and in the second floor so next week we have to finish the kitchen and the um, piping underneath us and then in the, in the um, main uh, basement area where everything comes down together so hopefully we'll get that done the, uh, next week so we can have um, the water drainage and the electrical instruction at the same time uh, my goal is to do that here in the next month to schedule it all and at least be done with uh, another big project so i see you next week i turn on the camera have a good one bye one discovery i made the week um, <clears throat> that I was just here for a few hours um, on Sunday when I came is I had um, I found in one of the small uh, little corner spots I didn't have the camera with me but I found in one of the corners I found a snake uh, skin about four maybe four and a half foot long I was able to take it out um, unfortunately it broke in half um, because it was um, the skin was wrapped around one of the rafters that I was just fixed uh, that I just fixed recently and so that was a little scare I really can't stand snakes and uh, it was such a large one so I was a little discouraged there um, it was up in the attic so the snake clearly made it all the way through the house up into the attic um, we had um, or we actually have with a small little spot in the corner uh, where the roofers um, didn't finish uh, or didn't where they open up some of the soffits because they were um, uh, very rotten and they were fixing some stuff there so the soffits are open and so I had a, a few little birds nesting there so because the birds have been nesting I would assume that's why the snake came I actually found an egg I'll show you guys I found a little nest of a bird where the egg was destroyed so I and it was really close to where the skin was I'll show you in a second um, but because of that, I assume that's where the snake was. I hope the snake has left. Um, I want to finish closing up the rafters here in the next few weeks also before we go outside. So when, when I do that, I hopefully don't get a surprise. One of the corners um, as, I'm, as I'm working there, um, a large four foot black snake in there, that will be a yeah, um, heart attack like um, experience. So I hope that's not gonna happen. So that's where I found the snake. Um, I think there's still a little piece of the skin back there. I don't know if it's going to be too dark, but there's a little piece of the skin still there. Maybe about half a foot foot um, that it was uh, laying right there and it was coming all the way over here, that uh, piece. Um, and then I found the egg over here. You can tell there was a small little nest 
and that's probably where the snake found a little snack. Um, it probably was not a big snack since the snake was such a large one, but that's the unfortunate thing that you just have in old houses that you're fixing up and especially here in Virginia with quite a few different types of snakes. Um, especially if the house is not fully sealed up yet, they will definitely get into it, especially here in the attics where it's nice warm. They will love this kind of space. So if you're wondering about the snake skin, I actually posted a couple uh, images on my Instagram. So if you are not following yet, uh, the Tirola in on Instagram, we have a few little back this, a a behind the scenes pictures, um, especially when I'm not here with the camera, I might um, just take some pictures and post them there.